biggest news in the whole sports scene, the whole world right now, in the NFL. Tom Brady, if you New turn England on the TV. Patriots. <laughs> oh. They're taking <laughs> deflated footballs to the face, okay? Ooh. After an NFL sanctioned punishment, yes. it's going to devastate the franchise, possibly. You know, they, they'll probably possibly. still survive it every year they do. Yeah. But it seems to me that the expectation was for a three game ban for Brady, and that was going to be about it yeah. when it comes to those sanctions. But no. A lot more happened out of this whole deflate gate scandal. It did. They lose a first round draft pick. What? Fourth round That's draft pick. That's a pretty big hit. 2016 for the first round. And right? 2017 for the fourth round. Okay. And then a million dollars. You know, you don't think it's that much for an owner, but that is the highest fine that an owner has had to pay from the NFL. So, a lot there, a lot to handle. What mm -hmm. do you make of this madness, Chance? What are you thinking? Well, first of all, I think Papa Rogers trying to save face with this one, and he's trying to prove that he's okay in punishing his buddy Robert Kraft. I don't know if they go golfing yeah. or if they go do this there. and that, but no, they're they friends help. and everybody was calling him out for that. And right. I'm not going to be a prisoner of a moment. You know, we've been going back and forth on the domestic abuse stuff for the last couple weeks, and I'm not going to kick and scream about the two-game suspension for Ray Rice or ten games for Greg Hardy or anything in between because punishment is – is, it's all about bigger picture and mm -hmm. the climate. You know what I mean? Where, where are we at right now? You, you don't punish your kids based on just that one sole incident. You know, if they're a bad kid, you might go a little Repeat bit harder defenders, on them. Sure. Exactly. You know, in a vacuum, they hit them with a performance enhancing style of punishment. Four games for steroids, four games for, for gaining a competitive edge with a ball that he prefers. Yeah. You know, the million dollar fine, like you said, is the highest one that we've ever seen or the NFL has ever had doled out. Mm -hmm. But the Pats are going to be just fine. Four games without Brady. Book it right now. They're going to go two and two. I haven't even looked at who they play. And okay. Brady's going to come back harder than he probably ever has I'm because good. the last thing you want to do is upset one of the best competitors of all time. Right. You know, awesome. Michael Jordan played his best when people said he couldn't do it or when he was down and out. Sure. And I guess if one team could survive the draft picks and penalties, Patriots. it's the New England Patriots. Yeah. So I guess the short of it, I agree with the suspension. If he did, in fact, tamper with the balls, I disagree with the draft picks, and the Patriots' fine will be just fine. <laughs> sure. So, uh, you know. And, you know, you're never going to catch me defending a Michigan man. No, sir. But I'm still not going to do it, but I will defend the Patriots here. They, they, I don't believe the first-round pick was justified. I think the Brady thing, just yeah. fine. Yep, fine with the suspension. Fine. First round pick, that is harsh. That's big that time. Very harsh. That's stopping another young man from pursuing his dream and yeah. playing with the Patriots. That hurts. 